Bullseye just to the southeast of DC and over toward Annapolis, but still some heavy rain around 830 tomorrow. Even a few rumbles of thunder not out of the question. Now later in the afternoon, most of that rain pushes off to the east, but a few spotty showers still going to be in the forecast for us. And even into Tuesday, we're going to hang on to that Tuesday morning, and that's thanks once again to that extra moisture from Julia as that hangs down farther to the southeast coast. We do look for things to clear out later in the day on Tuesday, bringing us a lot more sunshine for the middle part of the week. Quick check here onto your uh, rain totals as we wake up tomorrow morning about seven tenths for DC. Those numbers go up, but you notice Fredericksburg not saying Fredericksburg is going to be the spot that gets 3.8 inches, but somebody is likely to see these higher totals. So slim chance for some flooding. We'll be watching that very closely. Most of us by the time it's said and done, will pick up closer to an inch. So once again, the heaviest rain really focused early tomorrow morning. Then on Tuesday, that chance to the south will get more sunshine in here Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Check it out first day of fall on Thursday, but uh, we're going to have more of a flip flops and shorts kind of forecast for you, especially <laughs> into Saturday. Yeah, people don't mind that at all. No, I think it's OK. We'll kind of ease into the cooler weather. Are you excited <laughs> about the Emmys? I, I am. It's always a funny, especially with Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, coming up tonight <laughs> at 8 o'clock. This is, of course, primetime TV's biggest night. Jimmy Kimmel set to host the 68th annual primetime Emmy Awards. And Lauren Lister is live right now on the red carpet at the Microsoft Theater in L.A. with what to expect tonight. Lauren, you got the plum assignment. Hey, absolutely. Hey, Kelly, we are doing well out here. The show is just over an hour away, and you can see it is quite the scene. Heading into tonight for TV fans, it's Game of Thrones that's at the top, but another contender is right on its heels, meaning Emmy glory is up for grabs. Hollywood's getting ready for television's biggest night. The red carpets rolled out for the stars, host Jimmy Kimmel perfecting his best jokes. Without television, what will we do? Read? Gross. And the 68th Annual Emmy Awards have now arrived. For tonight's show, audiences should get ready. Winter is coming. You're not cold, my lady. HBO's Game of Thrones yeah, leading the way in nominations for a second year in a row, garnering yeah. 23. But just behind that... You want to make this a black thing? Well, I'm not black. I'm OJ. This year's FX biopic, The People vs. OJ Simpson, with 22 noms. Also at the head of the pack, Netflix drama House of Cards... We need more votes for you, ma'am. You think? And HBO comedy Veep. That makes you look like you ate Eddie Murphy. Huh? First time nominees include ABC's Blackish for comedy series. Its lead actors scored nods too. Excitement on display when Anthony Anderson was announcing the nominations in July and his was called out. Wow! Then there are repeat nominees who have yet to score. There are a couple who have never won who could have their big year this year. Hugh Laurie never won for House. He's up for an Emmy yeah, nomination for his role in Night Manager. And ahead of the broadcast, the hosts previewing what to expect. I think the show needs to have energy, it needs to be funny, and it needs to end on time. But before any of the action on stage, stars have to make it down this red carpet. We are just the beginning of it. They have to go past scores of press and cameras before making it into the theater for the big show. Live in Los Angeles, I'm Lauren Lister, ABC7 News. Kelly. So, Lauren, tell us, who have you seen on the red carpet? Well, some of the stars that have been coming by so far, John Voight, who is obviously a very big name in Hollywood, and he is nominated for his role in Ray Donovan. Also, America Ferreira, who has won the lead actress uh, in a comedy award. We've also seen uh, one of the stars of Modern Family, which is up for a number of awards, Tony Hale from Veep. Veep doing very well in terms of nominations this year and last year, won Best Comedy Series. So they could repeat that again this year because they're nominated too. A lot of fun, a lot of people. Absolutely. Lauren Lister in Los Angeles. Thanks so much. Have a great night. And here's a question for you. How would you like to take a mid-career one-year retirement? That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> this is possible with some very careful planning. One DC couple is now traveling the world. They did quit their jobs, but they do plan to go back to continue their careers after they've accomplished their traveling dreams. Tonight, after the Emmys, coming up at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock for the pre-Emmy show, Seven on Your Side shares the formula for freedom. So don't miss that coming up tonight 
on ABC 7 News. We got a lot of good stuff happening on this channel. Retirement sounds great right now. You're too young to even that's, think about that's it. That's okay. I can still think about <laughs> even it. Even a mid career too soon. Oh man, retirement <laughs> right now. I know the Redskins probably want to retire right now after today. Uh, Redskins starting to dig a hole with the loss to Dallas. We'll take you through that one and we'll tell you who really got the last laugh. Welcome back, Alfred. Sports is next. I work around the clock. I want my blood sugar to stay in control, so I asked about Traceba. Traceba is a once daily long acting insulin that lasts even longer than 24 hours. I want to trim my A1C. Traceba provides powerful A1C reduction, releases slow and steady, works like your body's insulin. When my schedule changes, I want something that delivers. I can take Traceva any time of day, so if I miss or delay a dose, I take it when I remember, as long as 